Hey, what's going on car collectors? Ken with Ken's Cardboard, and this is part two of my Denver Card Show video. Um, this is going to be the hockey version and a little bit of football as well. I had a really good time at the show. Met a couple of people that I know from Instagram that are local here, and uh, actually had one person from Nebraska, he uh, ran into me and asked me if I was Ken's Cardboard, and I said I was, and he watched my channel, so that was pretty cool. Him and his son showed up. They live in, uh, I think, North Platte, Nebraska, and that's about three hours from from uh, where I live, or, or from Denver, probably only a couple hours from where I live, so, but anyways, picked up uh, some hockey cards and some football. And that was pretty cool. As I mentioned in my previous video, there was three dealers or so that were just solely selling hockey cards. So that was awesome. I had spent a lot of time over at those areas, either talking to the dealers or um, just looking through uh, bargain boxes as well. So found a few things. Um, also ran into Drew Litton. He is an artist, a cartoonist in Colorado, and he's been a cartoonist for like 47 years um, and he does cartoons for the newspaper I used to do it for Rocky Mountain News now he uh, he does it for the Colorado Sun I think it was an online newspaper but uh, here's his uh, rendition of the Avs during the 22 2022 um, Stanley Cup playoffs he was he said he would make he would have these art cartoons done like within uh, like a half hour after every game. He was making a cartoon for every game. So that's pretty cool to pick that up. So let's see what we got for hockey cards. Picked up some. I was going through a box and I found this cool prism from 2013, Panini Prism first year the only year that, that uh, Panini had a license for hockey you know that nice looking with etching on it there so just kind of slowly picking up those cars when I see them at good prices I think I paid like two bucks for that um, I think another great player that's going to be coming up for the abs is this rookie Alex Newhook this is the black diamond kind of like a dufex card it's a little dark but looks better looks better in person than than uh, on the camera. Got this uh, from 2021. This Dazzlers, the fireworks. These are pretty cool cards. I like those. I like that design. Picked up a Parkhurst rookie card. A little shine on that. Prominent prospects. So picked up those few new hooks. I picked up his. Uh, Young Guns a few weeks back. Also got this Miko Rantanen from Opeachy Platinum, which is probably one of my favorite products um, that Upper Deck makes. Some of the higher end stuff is really expensive, so of the lower end products, I, I like the Opeachy Platinum. Always love Pacific, but this is the Panini Crown Royale. Gabe, Gabe Landeskog, the captain of the Avalanche. This is the Panini Crown Royale Hockey. Picked up this uh, canvas. I like the canvas. This is from 2015. Scoring a goal there. Just like those cards. This is the 2018 canvas. Signed an autograph on a jersey. UD canvas. There's UD canvas again. Getting doused during an interview there this is 2020 here's 2021 wearing an alternate jersey there with his like his hat he's got some eye black on ud canvas those are cool designs that's kind of like an alternate image and then i picked up some older cards going through some rummaging through some boxes of this 97 metal joe sackick a 96, 96 metal. That's pretty cool. And then Topps Gold Label. Look at that shine. Gold Label is one of my favorite products back in the day. It's not as quite as nice now, but 
This is from two, 1999. Got this uh, upper deck, fantastic finishers. That's a nice looking card. Dufex doesn't do justice on the camera. This looks better in person. Then we got a another Crown Royale from 2002, die cut, shiny chrome or foil foil card from 2001. This is a, this is actually a Pacific card. So that's pretty cool. And then we got this really cool leather and lace. Got a little rainbow shine on the f label in there. This kind of a embossed card or raised, kind of like the UD canvas, but it, the, the laces are raised up. But this is actually, that's how this is numbered, out of 5,000. A couple bucks for those. I, never, I didn't pay full price for any of these. And then this, this is a sick card here. Look at this. Look at that holographic image there we go look at that so that's pretty cool gold SPX from 1996 and then here's another card from the 2013 set of Panini this is the prism rainbow or uh, prism prism <laughs> Prism Silver, I guess people call them. Got the etching in there. It's hard to see here. Of Nazem Kadri. This is the blue parallel with the Leafs. He's only with the Avalanche for three years. He's uh, no longer the Avs now. He's going to be with Calgary next year. But he did win the Cup, and he actually got a tattoo of the Stanley Cup on his, uh, on his leg. So go check that out on Reddit or something, or maybe some other places. Uh, let's see, picked up a few more. Went through a bunch of boxes and found some pretty cool Kale McCarr cards, too. Here's a one, to like a playing card, a peachy. Didn't have that. I don't know these I've had. This is a Tim Hortons rainbow. I like the Tim Hortons cards. There's a Dazzler. Firework looking. And we got, here's a Throwback parallel, uh, alternate image, Cal McCarr, an alternate jersey from 2021. Two. Upper deck. Here's up. Here's the uh, extended series. This is the All Star card. First, first all All Star team. Very cool. And we got a foil card here. I think these come from the E packs. Shane, let me know if these are from E packs. This is the foil version. Still haven't picked up a sparkle, uh, golden, what is it, uh, the sparkle version. Here's a Millennial Impact from Synergy. 20, I think this is rookie year, actually, 2019-2020. And we got a 2021-22 Honor Roll from Upper Deck, insert card. And then we got this... I don't know what this is, SB Authentic. I don't know what, what insert this is called, but I thought it was just cool. Picked it up for like a buck. I pick, pretty much picked up most of these for a buck. Maybe a couple of my weren't, weren't, but here's the red parallel from SP. There's a Parkhurst. And then we got Encore. 2021. And then we got another Parkhurst. The gold border, and then we got MVP. That's the Kale McCarr cards I picked up. Picked up a few football cards. Oh, I forgot one more. Picked up more. Uh, that was the last hockey card, yeah. These are all football cards I picked up. Got the show. Got this cool mosaic of Christian McCaffrey. I'm not sure what year this one is. 2021. Like those cards. Here's some uh, draft picked. The draft picks. I didn't. I thought they only made these like the first time, but look at the etching. Whoa! Look at that. This is Prism Prism draft picks from 2020 2020. We got another, there's a Prism Crusade from that same set. Got me 
we got a Illusions Orange. Got like the shine, right? Shining stars. We got Elite Series Don Russ. It's like he's gotten, getting electrocuted. Uh, we got uh, Behind the Numbers Refractor or Prism from Playoff. And then we got this red, white, and blue Prism from. 20, 2018 second year card I guess these are not numbered but they still look cool I only paid like a buck for it so got select the etching doesn't not too much etching on this one but still a shiny card this is the concourse prism from 2020 and then picked up a couple of Pickle of slabs. This is Contenders Foil 2019 PSA 10. I made a trade for another football card that wasn't is that much interesting in my car collection. And then this cool optic Contenders Contenders optic. This cool design this is also I like this a little bit better. A little shinier, matched the blue. I don't know, upper deck put it in a weird case. It's thicker than the other cases for some reason. And then also picked up his rookie card in this select silver prism. This is the concourse level, I think. Yeah, concourse level. It's a rookie card and the PSA Fine 9. Those are the football cards I picked up and hockey cards. Had a good time with the show and a lot of cool stuff you don't see very often so um thanks for watching i really appreciate everybody in this community and hope you have a great afternoon or evening wherever you're watching this peace out go abs